Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here today. Today I am going to be sharing with you guys a practice quiz for the HESI A2 reading comprehension section. I'll be sharing with you guys seven questions with the answers and explanations for the correct answer. And these questions are all taken from the Metrics University, which has a wonderful online course to help you prepare for your nursing entrance exams. So they have a HESI A2 prep course, and they also have a TEAS test prep course, depending on which entrance exams you need to take. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Mometrics University, you can go ahead down below. I've put the links to these so you can go check it out and get a little bit more information about that down there. So let's jump right into these questions. On the HESI exam, what usually happens is you'll have a passage and then several questions on that specific passage. Today, for these questions, I actually have given you a different passage for each of the seven questions. So it'll take you a little bit more time to get through these, but I was thinking that that would be more helpful for you guys to get a feel for some different types of passages that you might see on the reading section. So after each question, I won't read through the whole passage for you. You can just go ahead and pause the video and read it yourself and then I will give you the answer options. Then finally, at the very end, I will give you all of the correct answers and explanations for those correct answers. So hopefully that made some sense about what I'm gonna be doing for these next few questions, and let's just dive right in. Question number one. Go ahead and pause the video and read this passage, and then go ahead with these answer options. Which of the following describes the word recidivism as it is used in this passage? A, the lack of violence in the prison system. B, the opportunity of inmates to receive therapy in prison. C, the event of a prisoner escaping the compound. Or D, the likelihood of a convicted criminal to re-offend. You can go ahead and pause this if you need a little more time to answer the question, and then go ahead and move on to question number two. Question number two. Go ahead and pause the video here and read this passage, and then we will move on to the question and the answer options. So what does the author mean by the following sentence? Of the details of his life up to the time a certain revolution happened within him, it will be unnecessary to speak. A, the details of his external life don't matter, only the details of his internal life matter. B, whatever happened in his life before he had a certain internal change is irrelevant. C, he had a traumatic experience earlier in his life that rendered it impossible for him to speak. Or D, before the revolution, he was a lighthearted man who always wished to speak to others no matter who they were. If you need a little time, go ahead and pause the video here and then move on to question number three when you're ready. Question number three. Go ahead and pause the video here to read this passage and then we will move on to the question and answer options for this passage. What does the word impress mean in the third paragraph? A, to affect strongly in feeling. B, to urge something to be done. C, to impose a certain quality upon. Or D, to press a thing onto something else. If you need a little time, go ahead and pause the video here and then move on to the next question when you're ready. Question number four. Go ahead and pause the video to read this passage and then we will go on to the question and answer options. What is the tone of this passage? A, excitement. B, anger. C, neutral. D, sorrowful. Go ahead and pause the video here, and then when you're ready, we can move on to question number five. Question number five. Go ahead and read this passage. You can pause the video here, and then when you're ready, we'll go ahead with the question and answer options. The author would classify Portland as which of the following? A, a boom city. B, a city on the East Coast. C, an industrial city or D, a city of legitimate business. Go ahead and pause the video here. And when you're ready, we will go on to question number six. Question number six. You can go ahead and pause the video to read this passage and then we'll move on with the question and answer options. 
What is the author's tone in this passage? A, enthusiastic, B, objective, C, critical, or D, desperate? Go ahead and pause the video to answer this question. Question number seven. You can go ahead and pause the video here to read the passage, and then we'll move on to the question and answer options. Which of the following sentences best summarizes the passage? A, the speaker meets his friend at an abandoned building where they attempt to hunt a creature that terrorized them the night before. B, the speaker and a friend arrive at the apartment where, to the speaker's relief, a terrifying creature from the night before appears to have left the space. C, the speaker is angry at his friend for letting loose a terrifying creature in his house only to find the creature gone. Or D, the speaker is eager to show his friend a terrifying creature locked inside his apartment only to find that the creature has disappeared from the apartment. Go ahead and pause the video to answer this question and then we will move on to the answers, the correct answers and the explanations for those answers. The answer to question number one is D, the likelihood of a convicted criminal to reoffend. The passage explains how a Norwegian prison, due to rehabilitation, has a smaller rate of recidivism. Thus, we can infer that recidivism is probably not a positive attribute. Choices A and B are both positive attributes, the lack of violence and the opportunity of inmates to receive therapy. So Norway would probably not have a lower rate of these two things. Choice C is possible, but it does not make sense in context because the author does not talk about tactics in which to keep prisoners inside the compound, but ways in which to rehabilitate criminals so that they can live as citizens when they get out of prison. The answer to question number two is B. Whatever happened in his life before he had a certain internal change is irrelevant. Choices A, C, and D use some of the same language as the original passage, like revolution, speak, and details, but they do not capture the meaning of the statement. The narrator was not concerned with the character's life before his epiphany and had no intention of talking about it. The answer to question number three is C, to impose a certain quality upon. In this context, impress means to impose a certain quality upon. The sentence states that the impress of his dear hand has been stamped everywhere regarding the quality of his tastes and creations on the house. Choice A is one definition of impress, but this definition is used more as a verb than a noun. For example, she impressed us as a songwriter. Choice B is incorrect because it is also used as a verb. For example, he impressed the need for something to be done. Choice D is incorrect because it is part of a physical act. The businessman impressed his mark upon the envelope. The phrase in the passage is figurative, since the workman did most of the physical labor, not the prince. The answer to question number four is C, neutral. The tone of this passage is neutral since it is written in an academic or informative voice. It is important to look at the author's word choice to determine the tone of the passage. We have no indication that the author is excited, angry, or sorrowful at the effects of bacteria on milk, so choices A, B, and D are incorrect. The answer to question number five is D, a city of legitimate business. We can see the proof in this sentence. The cause of Portland's growth and prosperity is the trade which it has as the center of collection and distribution of this great wealth of natural resources. And it has attracted not the boomer and speculator, but the merchant, manufacturer, and investor who seek the surer, if slower channels of legitimate business and investment. Choices A, B, and C are not mentioned in the passage and are incorrect. The answer to question number six is B, objective. Choice B is correct because an objective tone means that the author is open-minded and detached about the subject. Most scientific articles are objective. Choices A, C, and D are incorrect. The author is not very enthusiastic in the text. The author is not critical, but rather interested in the topic. And the author is not desperate in any way here. Finally, the answer to question number seven is B. 
The speaker and a friend arrive at the apartment where, to the speaker's relief, a terrifying creature from the night before appears to have left the space. The reason this is correct is because the passage details the speaker and his friend going to the apartment. The speaker, terrified of finding the creature, realizes that the creature is gone after he barges in through the door. Choice A is incorrect because we never see the speaker and the friend trying to hunt anything. Choice C is incorrect because we do not have proof that the friend let loose a terrifying creature in the speaker's house. Choice D is also incorrect because we have no proof that the speaker is eager to show the creature. We see that the speaker is more reluctant to find the creature inside the apartment than eager and does not wish to show any of the friends. So how did you guys do on that quiz? You can let me know in the comments below. I hope this was helpful for you in preparing for the HESI exam. I also have a lot of other videos related to prepping for and taking your nursing entrance exams. So I will be linking that playlist down below if you're interested in seeing some more videos related to taking the TEAS test and related to taking the HESI exam. If you enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and like this video below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more content similar to this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.